Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, we're gonna make these faux pies. And um, aren't these fabulous, these faux pies? Now, I wanna say this. This is not my idea. I'm gonna say that right up. I always tell you guys if it's my, if it's something that I thought of or whatever. I was watching Bonnie Overman's channel and you guys need to go visit Bonnie Overman. She is fabulous. She does all kinds of DIYs. She joins, um, they dress tables and um, she does competitions with dressing like a dinner table. I think that's what it is. And um, she does a beautiful job and she um, competes in California. Um, she does all kinds of DIYs. She does Dollar Tree hauls. Go join her Facebook also because she, she shows everything she does. She also always um, shows it on Facebook. Um, so it's Bo her name is Bonnie Overman. Go check out her channel and go subscribe. Hey, Bonnie. Thank you for this idea because, girl, I love it. Now, I haven't seen Bonnie make, I don't think she's made her video yet on how she did hers. But uh, this is my version of how I did mine. I'm not saying it's how she did hers because I'm not sure how she did it. But um, this is my version of it. But I did get the idea from Bonnie Overman and hers are fabulous. Um, she has a video um, of showing how she set them up on her, her on her dining table, which is well, I think that dining table picture is the picture she used in her competition. Um, also on Facebook, she has pictures of this, plus all of her other all of her other cool DIYs that she does. So, and she gets a lot of her stuff too from um, Dollar Tree. So, all right, so I'm going to show you guys how to, how I made these. Okay, all right, so let me go ahead and remove this pie. Oh, and let me see if you guys can see something. Um, okay, and it's sitting, let me show you what it's sitting on. It's just simply sitting on, um, oh, and all this, all the stuff comes from Dollar Tree. Yeah, pretty much everything comes from Dollar Tree. I'll let you know if it doesn't. Um, this plate comes from Dollar Tree, so I just did a white plate, and then I did one of the, um, you know, one of the uh, candle holders. So that's it. And you can uh, E6000 this onto here if you want, with E6000 glue. But I don't want this to be permanent because I have so many of these um, that sometimes I like to change them up and do different things. So for right now, I'm not gonna E6000 mine together. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me put this up here. Let me put my camera down. I'm gonna have to adjust my camera, you guys. So just a second. Camera adjustment. You guys know I'm into minimal, very minimal editing. So I'm more about doing the project. Okay. So let's get started. All right. All right. I think that's going to work there. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, I got these bowls from Dollar Tree. You get a pack of, I think, six or eight in a eight in a pack and they're just plastic bowls you get them in the party section they're a nice little sturdiness weight to them and i like how they look like a little pie shell don't you think i think so okay so you know let me take this lights a little and i got a lot of light going in my room but it's a little intense all right all right so the next thing i want to do oh you know i need to get my um my hot glue gun heated up so let me just do that really quickly I swear, you try to do everything in advance for these damn videos, and there's always something. No major, my glue gun will be hot in a minute. All right, so what I first thing I want to do is I'm um, take my bowl, and like I said, I love this bowl because it looks like a, a pie tin, but a small one. So these are kind of like not really miniature, but they're just smaller versions of what um, a regular size pie would be. Jeez, this light is really getting blown out with this white. Just a sec. Let me see if that's going to be better. Oh, so much better. Okay. You get these lights and you think, oh, it'd be great with these lights, but something, especially white, it just blows it out. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blueberry pie, just like the one you saw. So I want to take up some space. So I'm going to use some black tissue paper and we're going to hot glue this in. And this will um, take up some of the space in this bowl and if you're gonna do a blueberry pie you could even use a dark like a dark um 
a dark plum or dark purple tissue paper. You could even just use um, maybe some newsprint. Kind of try to get as close to the color of whatever you're making. Like if you want to make an apple pie, Bonnie used, um, she uses flower petals. Like I'll show you. I'm going to use these flower petals here. And I'm going to actually, so these ones, I'm going to actually intermix these ones together for the blueberry pie. And then I'm going to use these for the blueberries. Okay, so these are the picks you can get at Dollar Tree. So let me show you these. Bonnie did an apple pie, so she got flowers that had that kind of a color, like an off-white, beigey color for, for so it would represent apples, okay? So this, I've already started pulling the flowers on this, but this is the bushel here. I'm looking for my damn mirror. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this bushel here, all right? Then um, I already pulled these off a bushel that looked just like that, and it's these flowers. Okay, and you can get these at Dollar Tree. And then I got these um, berry bushes. If you see these, you guys, pick up quite a few for for this project. And if you like to do anything else for projects, pick these up because these aren't easy to come by. I couldn't find any more. I bought they had like five or six. And that's all they had. And I went to three or four other stores and they still didn't have any more at the other stores. So anyway, when you see your berry picks and it's the right color, you know, pick up, pick up a nice amount for yourself if you're into doing crafts. Okay. So let me see if my hot glue gun, let me see if my hot glue gun is ready to go yet. If it's not, I can explain a couple of other things, but I really would like to start getting started. Okay. You know what? Let's bring this camera up just a little bit more. Probably up too much, but... No, I like that. That's better. Okay. Let's butter, because now I can... Now I can be here, I can be here, I can be anywhere, and I'll be in frame. Okay. So, we got our hot glue gun. It's ready to go. All right, so in the bottom of this, I'm just going to just put some hot glue in the bottom of this. Kind of hurry because, you know, it dries up quickly. Okay, and hold that in. While you're at the Dollar Tree, pick up one of these like little cake spatulas. I used to have a big end on here, but I don't have it. But I only use the small end anyway. Get a cake spatula so that you can um, use that to, um, so you can use that to press things down and you don't have to always use your fingers. For this, it's not as important, but it will be more important for, um, It will be more important for um, when you do the flowers. I'm going to put a little bit more black tissue paper in here. It was funny because I was thinking, oh, I wish I had some black tissue paper or some dark, dark purple. And then I looked at my little stash where I keep a lot of tissue paper that people um, create packages for me or my husband. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I had some. All right, so you want to fill this up so you don't have to put so many flowers, okay? And I'm going to put my hot glue just on here. Just like that. Let me grab a couple more glue sticks. We're going to need a few out. Okay. Get my glue sticks also. Dollar Tree. If I want to use my smaller glue gun, when I'm using my big glue gun, I use I get them from Walmart. But anyway, all right. So let's get started. So um, I'm gonna pop off this flower, right? This rose. Okay, and this is a rose. And we're going to pop off the bottom of this. There we go. So that we can just take these rose petals off. Or, yeah, these rose petals off of here. So 
So now we have these petals. And then this one I need to do also because I want to, I'm going to add, I don't know if I added both colors in the last one or not, but I just thought for blueberry pie, it would look kind of cool to add both these colors in. So now we have these, okay? And we're going to take these all, cut these apart. Um, all right. So I may not do all this whole thing on camera as far as putting all these petals in, but I'm going to get you started so you know what we're doing. And then um, I'll finish it up off camera and then we'll come back just for the sake of time. Okay, so I just cut those petals. Let's put this over here. I just cut those petals off and then let's cut these petals. Okay. And this is what's going to represent the base of the blueberries. And then the, the blueberry, the berry bush that we got will go on top of here. And let's do, cut some more of this color. Okay. So. Let's start. Oh, I need a glue stick, of course. I can't find my large glue gun. Thank God I have all these other glue guns, so I don't have to worry about it if I can't find my glue gun, but I wish I could find it. So anyway, I'm just piling these petals and not doing what I said use your thing and I think what I'm gonna do because yeah I didn't do this last time I just used the darker ones I'm going to um, put all the darker ones down and then I'll then intermerse the lighter purple because um, they're smaller and you're not getting as far with those. Okay. These ones are a little bit, these are some smaller ones. I'm just gonna place those right on top of some of the other pieces. So you get the gist of what I'm talking about. And then right on top of everything I've done, I'm gonna start putting on these purple ones, the lighter purple, just here and there. I think when Bonnie was talking about these, I think that's what she said she used was flower petals. In her video when she was taught when she was showing us um, her pies I think she said she used flower petals so that's where I got the idea of course of using flower petals was from her and I knew from my fall DIYs I'm like that is gonna be the first thing I do for my DIYs so I made one this will be my second one right here I want to make I think three of them Okay, so you guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, um, finish this up, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay? So that's what that looks like. Okay, so let me pause my camera. And I will be right back. Okay, you guys. We are back. All right, so I applied all of those uh, flower petals. 
the two different shades of purple. And then I've started this part where I just started dismantling the um, berry bush. And I'll just take the whole thing off of here. Like I'll just pop it off. Like I'll show you. See, pop it off. And a lot of times I'll use the whole piece, okay? I do cut off this little part right here. But I have one that I have that I've already taken off and I've already kind of measured it and it fits in here good, okay? Let me just see something. No, I want it like this. So we're just gonna hot glue this in. So, lots of hot glue. All right, and we're just gonna let that, doesn't that just look like a pie already? And we're not even, well we're, we are kind of maybe halfway through, but we still got a whole nother half of some stuff to do. Okay, let me just hold this down for just a second. All right, just holding this down for a second. All right, I'm gonna show you the next step. I'm gonna move this out of the way, okay? What we're gonna create is next, let me show you on the pie, is the lattice. That's what needs to go next. And actually, there's something before the lattice. I'll show it to you in a second, but let me show you how to make the lattice. So, I, to, for make, to make the lattice part of the pie, we use burlap. And I'll show you how I created these strips, okay? Because when you use burlap, it frays to all hell, right? Well, I'm gonna show you how to control the fray and make little lattice strips like this, okay? All right, so what you need to do is get yourself, and they have um, burlap at Dollar Tree. You probably have burlap in your stash, okay? But if not, they have it at Dollar Tree um, most of the time. Yeah, they always have it in the crafter section. So what you do is you can, what you do is you just cut yourself a strip out of burlap, or maybe it'll come as a strip. I have a really wide roll of it. This one isn't Dollar Tree. This is Hobby Lobby, okay? I could have just used this whole thing. I don't need to cut it out. I could have just used it this way. It's just that I've already been cutting on this. So anyway, take your burlap, take some regular scotch, um, not scotch, what is this? This kind of tape here. Someone will scream at me and tell me what kind of tape it is. It'll hit my brain in a second. But this type of tape, okay? And that's the size, just the regular size tape. Make sure it's beige, not green or any other color. And um, and what you want to do is put this tape on here. In fact, you want to start. You want to leave an edge on there so that it sticks to the um, sticks to your table. It'll just be easier to work with. Okay. Hopefully, I'm in frame this at the, all the way at the end here okay you don't completely have to work up the roll like I'm doing you can just you know what well I'm gonna work up the roll let me take it off the roll actually it'll be easier if I don't keep keep it on the roll all right so we're just putting the tape on here like this, and there we go. Okay, so you have it like this. And then when you wanna do your second row, you do the same thing. I'm gonna take this off the roll, it's much easier. Line it up right next to the other piece, okay? And make sure it's stuck down real nice okay so then that's some little scraggler piece right there that we don't need so then I can cut this off the end here I'm sorry I'm off the camera I'll be back on in just a second okay so you have this so now 
you have a line right here that you can cut this out, right? So let me go ahead and start cutting this out. Let me see if I want to use these scissors or my own. I want to use my other ones. And you just use the tape here as your line. And you can make a whole bunch of, of lattice strips for your pie this way. And you're not going to remove this tape. It's going to stay on here. This will stop your um, the burlap from turning into a frayed mess. Otherwise, it just frays and frays and frays into nothing. And this is a good tip for a lot of different things when you use burlap. So see, now you have a burlap, now you have the burlap strip, which is going to be your lattice strip. And then let me cut, I'll cut this one too, just for the sake of it. What I should do is add another piece of tape so I have another lattice strip. Let me just go ahead and um, do it right now because I'm probably gonna make um, a third pie, so then I'll have a lot of lattice strips ready to go. And that's how I kind of work. When I make when I make some lattice strips for these pies, I'll make quite a few of them. Because I already got everything out, I'm already in that mode. And if you know you're gonna make more than one pie, just go ahead and make all your, get all your, get all your lattice strips done. That's just kind of how I like to work, like kind of like in an assembly type of thing. That's how I kind of, I do everything in an assembly line. Except I don't want to work in an assembly line. If you work in an assembly line, no shade. I just like, just love being creative. Okay, so now, again, alright, again, we're going to use that line right in between cut the width of the strip go straight down the center I don't know how I came up with this well I was sitting here and I was cutting these lattice strips and they were fraying and I'm like I need to do something for these don't fray and right next to me was sitting the, the masking tape that's what it's called was sitting this masking tape and I thought oh I could do it like this so it just came to me and I'm like okay Cool. So we have another lattice strip for the pies. Okay. And then um, we can just trim this one up. See, this is what's left over. And I won't throw away what's left over, all these fibers. Um, I like to do slow stitch and fast stitch and make like little um, little strips of fabric and, and like I said, do the slow stitching and fast stitching technique on them and then put them into my artwork. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll be doing some stuff on video, so you'll see it. You're like, girl, what are you talking about? All right, so I keep like any fibers like that, I keep a little plastic in this little plastic bag and I put the fibers in there. Okay. So let's bring our pie back. Before we add the lattice strips, we want to put some sugar on here, okay? So um, Dollar Tree has this um, glitter glue. It's clear and it has sparkle to it, right? So I'm going to put a little bit on my mat here. It'll dry clear, but it'll dry with the glitter. We're going to add more glitter to this. But it's just a nice way to get it started. Um, let me look for a brush that I'm not super attached to. Okay, so I can't believe I don't have any water in here. Okay, so I'm just going to just touch over this. Now, if you don't, if you have like some glue that'll dry clear, you can just use that because we're going to put glitter on top of here anyway. But I just thought, you know, to give it a little extra, I'll use this glitter glue and then we'll throw more glitter on top of it. So you can get this glitter glue at Dollar Tree. They don't always have it. So when you see the glitter glues at Dollar Tree, pick up all the colors you, you, you that you like. Pick up a ton of clear. That's the one I picked up the most. This is clear.
Okay. Also, when you're at Dollar Tree, pick up, if you don't have glitter, which you probably do in your stash, but if you don't, pick up some, um, some, like, the white clear glitter, the white glitter, not clear, what, pick up some white glitter. Usually, it comes in a pack with a whole bunch of other glitters. All right, so let me get a baby wipe and wipe that up. And if you don't have, um, like right now I don't have any water, which I can't believe, sitting here to put my brush in, just so it doesn't dry out, just wrap a baby wipe or a wet paper towel around it, and then that way it'll keep your brush wet, whether it's with paint, glitter glue, whatever, until you can get it rinsed. <coughs> you should always have a, a jar of water, but I just rinsed my brushes, so. Anyway, so let me just go ahead and wipe that up so we don't have a mess there. And then I'm going to just take this baby wipe and wrap up my glitter brush so I can get that rinsed off. Okay, so we're done with that. And this is what that looks like, that glitter glue. Okay, then I put my glitter in um, salt, uh, salt and pepper shakers. I got these at Dollar Tree also, okay? Get a piece of whatever type of paper. I'm just using what I have here. I have a piece of um, deli paper, but just use whatever. Computer paper, whatever. Just so you don't waste it. And just sprinkle this over it. You see why it's nice to put them in um, like a salt and pepper shaker? Then you can just sprinkle it over it. So it works out perfectly. Okay. All right. So let's leave that there. We got some excess here. Let's put the excess back into the all right, back into the bottle. If you do a lot of crafting or DIY, just collect all your glitter colors. You don't have to have a lot, but I mean, collect all the colors that you like and think you'll be working with because you never know when you need some glitter. All right, now the glitter looks like sugar, doesn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. Let me just bring it up kind of close. See how it looks like sugar? So now we have our blueberry pie sugared up. So the next step is to, use, is to do our lattice work. So... Okay. So, um, and I go, I go a little bit over the edge and then I cut it off at the end. That's the way, so you don't have to make sure that it fits perfectly. Okay. So I'm going to put my glue here. I'm going to explain that to you in just a second. So put my glue down there. My hot glue. And if you don't have a hot glue gun, which most crafters do, get a hot glue gun because you want, when you're doing a lot of DIYs, you need instant adhesion. And especially in this project, you need instant adhesion. So make sure that you use, that you have a flip here left, a little flap over, over the edges. We'll cut those in a second. And then that way you're not trying to line things up per perfectly. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about cutting it just perfectly. Cut it afterwards. learned that a long time ago <coughs> from trying to make something perfect the first time and then I cut it too short this way I don't have to worry about it right right there we go all right so now I'm just gonna take some scissors and just cut this cut this off and then it'll look perfect see I can put a little roundness to it, right to the thing. There we go. So now we can do another lattice piece, our second lattice. We'll go about right there. And the next one will go there. Okay. So. I kind of decide how I'm going to do it. Okay, I like it there, so I'm going to put my glue. Come on. Do my glue right there. Okay. 
You can also use a real ceramic bowl. They have some real ceramic bowls at Dollar Tree that are shaped kind of like this. They're bigger, but they're shaped like this. So they look like a pie dish almost. They're not a real deep bowl. They're a little bit more shallow like a pie dish would be. And they're in the dish section. And I might get some of the, I'm probably gonna get some of those too. Um, Cause I think it'd be really cool to have that too. Cause I'm gonna make these um, for Christmas. So I'll probably pick up some of those bowls. But what I liked about this is I can make more pies for a lot cheaper by getting eight bowls for a dollar. So, and you really don't see the bowl when we're done. You don't even know, you can tell it's a pie, like a pie dish, but you really can't tell what kind of bowl it is. Okay, so now we just did that, right? Bam, cut off the ends. All right, so we're left with this little piece here. We'll save that for something else. And then we have one more to do here. Let me turn this this way so I can see. Perfect. I do need to add a, I see where I need to add um, some berries in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. And see, there's a little hole right here for the berry. I need to add another berry right there. So let me just do that real quick. You know what I love about this blueberry pie is my absolute favorite pie too. Oh, I love blueberry. I don't even eat it enough. I love blueberry pie. When I started making these, oh, I was craving some blueberry pie. Even apple pie with ice cream or blueberry pie with ice cream. Oh, <gasps> my babe. Let me stick this in here. There we go. We had a little, we had a little blueberry hole. We needed to get covered up. All right, so next we're going to go the other way, right? Because we're creating a lattice. So we're gonna go like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this one down. Then I'll finish the rest of these latt lattice um, off camera. For the sake of time. Do I want to do it like that? I don't want to do it like this. I think I want to do it like this. Let me see if I want to bring it back down a little bit. Oh shoot. No, I don't like the where I had it at. All right, I'm being too picky. All right, let's just get this glue down. Sometimes you gotta give yourself a little grace which means, you know what, 
forget being perfect. You're fine. Give yourself a little break sometimes. Okay, and then cut that off like that going around. So there we go. So what I'll do is I'll finish up the lattice work off camera and then we'll be back and we'll sh I'll show you how to do the um, the pie crust on the edges next. Okay, so we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So we're back. I went ahead and... Let me get this out of the way for a second. I went ahead and finished the lattice work on the pie, okay? Just went the opposite way. So now we have the lattice. Doesn't that look like a pie, you guys? I am obsessed. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now the next thing, we need to work on the, um, on the edging of the pie, right? All right, so what I did is, um, this right here is nothing but some ba old sheets. I always save all of our sheets and use it as fabric. Um, but you just need some beige type of fabric, okay? Um, they do a lot of fabrics at Dollar Tree. If you find some beige fabric, pick it up. Um, look around your house. Find a blouse maybe that's beige. If not, pick up some from the, from the, um, from the uh, fabric store. But hopefully you have something around your house that's beige -y. Like, and like, you know cotton mix, polyester cotton mix, you know, like a sheet or just cotton fabric. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to uh, measure this out three inches. What I do is I measured out three inches. I cut it and then I tear long strips like this. Okay. So I have a nice long strip. Then what you want to do is you want to fold it in half. And then you're just going to t get a long piece of embroidery floss, the same color. I would use embroidery floss before I would use um, thread because that way, and I use it the thickness of it, of the embroidery floss. I don't divide it in half um, because it's nice and thick and that way you make sure your, your string doesn't break. Let me just make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Okay, so not the folded edge, but the raw edge is where you're going to start sewing. And you're just going to do a running stitch. It's very, very simple. The running stitch is going to make it so that this ends up ruffling so it's like a ruffle okay so I'm just gonna just do a running stitch oh and I'm using embroidery needle because um, I'm using embroidery floss and embroidery floss is thicker so you need that head on there to be um, to be wider right for embroidery floss so I'm using an embroidery needle and just keep this divided in half you can pin it if you want I don't we're not going to do this whole thing. I'm just going to show it to you because I already have some done, of course, for the sake of this video. We'll be here all day. These pies take a little bit of time, not too long, but a little bit of time. But I think it's totally worth it how they come out. They're so beautiful. So, you know, put on a video and just relax and enjoy the process of making them. Now, because the needle is pretty thick, I have to sometimes use like um, a... Uh, one of these things and pull my needle through because it's kind of thick everything's thick the needle's thick the embroidery floss is kind of thick anyway pull it through and what you want to do is you do it so long and then you pull it through and then you continue on okay and so what I do is I start out as I make sure that I have a, a, about that much on the end and you want to end up about that much on the end so you do the whole strip do the same process and so what you're getting is at the end is you'll go like this and see, you start having that ruffle. And that's going to be your pie edging, that ruffling. Okay. So that's the edging. All right. So I'm not going to finish this because I'm not going to finish on camera, but I'll finish that off camera for another pie. So let me put that aside. So what you're going to end up with is this when you're done. Now I had to do this one for my pie. Plus I had to make a little bit smaller one to finish it out. So you can kind of just do one, go around your pie. If you need to do another little small one, do a little small one to finish it up. Now 
when you have them done like this, you need to make sure that you tie the ends. Did I tie the end of this one? I don't think I did. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, I got to cut the edge off because this is where I tied the ends of the fabric. Okay. So just come here and like double or triple knot so this doesn't come apart. Easier said than done with nails. I was doing it fine yesterday. Okay, there we go. Okay. Double or triple knot it. Boom, got it. I just double knotted it. And then um, cut your thread off. Let me see if I did it to this other end yet. I might have already done it. Did I do it to this end yet? Nope. All right, so come here. Put your knots in. Okay, double knot it. Trim that off. Okay, come to my little one. Let's see if I see. I knotted this one on this end. And cut it off right so I need to knot this one I might have knotted this one I'm not sure we'll find out right now nope I hadn't done it yet all right do it again so it's double knotted okay trim that off all right so now we're going to this is the last bit we're almost done bring our pie back Okay, bring our pie back. Let's take our longest one. And you want the raw edge to be up against the pie and the folded edge to be outward, okay? And decide what side you like better. Like, I like this side better. I see less stitches. And if you still see some stitches, that's fine. It's not supposed to be made to look like a real, 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 real pie. But it kind of is. People, someone will go past that and be like, oh, that looks like a good pie. And they'll look at it like, that's a faux pie. <laughs> okay, so. There we go. So we're just, you know what? We need to be using, what I told you guys, use this. And this, you get a lot less burning of your damn fingers, like I almost did. And also, you'll keep the glue off your nails. Like, I was getting glue on my nails. Okay, so let's keep going around. Take our hot glue. And if you um, make a smaller one, I'll show you something. You can make these into flowers also. That's how I make them. Um, like, roughly looking flowers are with this technique also and I'll show it to you in a second with that small one before we attach it so just kind of make sure I kind of make sure these raw edges are facing in that's how I'm placing it on here so kind of tuck them in they don't have to be completely tucked in but that's how you want to apply it Okay. And you're not looking for perfection. You're doing pie edging. Okay. No edge of a pie is perfect. I mean, you want it to look nice, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just a second, you guys. I just want to look in here and see what I'm doing. And I'm not using my spatula, which I should be, but I need to fill this so I can kind of press it inside the pie. Where's my glue stick? There we go. Okay. 
Let me turn this around so I can see it myself. Okay. All right. So now we have just this left. Let me show you this real quick. If you put these together like this, look at that. It becomes one of those, like a, like a rosette type of flower. See? And then you um, just take some glue, either glue that right here and glue them together, or you can sew it together. I can sew it real quick. Then you always have a little hole in the middle, right? You can actually make that hole last. You always have a little hole in the middle. You can take a little rosette. You buy them on a strip at the um, at Hobby Lobby in the fabric section where they have all the laces. And they have like a whole, it'll be a whole roll of little rosettes. And you can put those right in the center there. And then you can put like a little um, flower center with like, a, like, like an earring with a bunch of stones in it. And use that as an ear, as a, um, as a uh, flower center. Or you can just keep that rosette in there. Or you can put a button on top of that after you put the rosette in. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. That these can also be flowers. Okay. Continue on. Now we need to add this ruffle in right here. Right? I'm going to overlap the, where I left off at. So you won't be able to tell where I ended at or where I began. This looks like one long piece of pie crust. Right? Right. Okay. And then let's go ahead and finish gluing. And go over this right here because it's square. Let me face it towards me so I know what I'm doing. Um, I see a little piece of glue right here. I'm just going to stick some sprinkles on there. It got a little crazy with the hot glue, but then just throw some um, glitter over it. It'll look like berries. Again, I'm going over this a little bit more with some more hot glue. There we go. How cool does that look, you guys? And it's so easy. It's just one little step after the next after the next. And you can make these little blueberry pies. If you want to make apple, find flowers that look like um, apple, like kind of like beigey type of flowers. Um, if you want to do an apple pie, if you want to do a cherry pie, um, look for, um, basically this color would do a cherry pie, just this color alone. And then maybe, um, find some, um, berries that have, that are that color also, or beads that works too. I think that Bonnie said that she might've used beads. I'm not sure if she used beads or berries, but interchange things, you know, whatever you have in your stash, whatever, and things that you can find. Okay. I always would check my stash first and then, um, and then go purchasing things, but stick, check your stash first. So you guys, I will have close-ups here. I hit you. I saw some close-ups at the beginning. I have some close-ups at the end. I'll put these on my Facebook, share them in my Facebook groups that I belong to. And Bonnie, thank you so much for the inspiration. I just thought, saw your pies and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, Oh my God, I have to make these. So I will be making these. I'm obsessed. I, I love these. I'm going to make one more here. And um, for Christmas, I'm going to make some pink, like strawberry looking ones. I'm really excited. So you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. 
and let me know what you think about the project. Okay, and thank you, Bonnie. And oh, make sure you click Bonnie's um, link below and go visit her and subscribe to her um, channel and go join her Facebook and go join her on Facebook. Okay, you guys will love her. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.